Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Elite Dangerous and in this episode I'm going to get back to exploring after having uh, unlocked the Imperial Courier ranking up in the Imperial ranks. I've finally gotten a pretty good looking ship I think. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, so it's it's uh, quite a fine looking ship compared to all the ships I've had so far. The Hauler, the Type 6, even the Cobra Mark III looks a little bit dinky compared to this. This is nice and sleek. Unfortunately, it doesn't have much by way of cargo capacity or fuel capacity. I've uh, taken it to the engineer to get it tuned up, so I figured out how to do the engineer thing. And uh, so it's got a max jump range of 24 light years, which is not bad. And it's already got fuel scoop in and everything. But I think I'm going to head out and, pa uh, and pick up my other ship, the Type 6 transporter, to do the exploring with. Gotta watch out for oncoming traffic here. So I haven't played Elite Dangerous that much. Um, and I'm sort of interested to get into No Man's Sky when that comes about. Now one thing we want to do this time is to figure out... I haven't actually figured out how to use materials to make make new modules using the synthesis thing. I especially want this frame shift drive injection option here. Why are we mass locked? No, I guess we're pretty close to the station. Okay. Oh great, looks like uh, we need to get ready for... I've got no cargo worth anything and uh, still they try to interdict. I have no weapons on board so we just have to run. Okay, that was easy. Uh, inter uh, the interdictions get a little bit tedious, a lot tedious. So yeah, as I was saying, so I want this frameshift drive injection, and uh, so that would give us a bonus to our jump drive distance. But I need this vanadium, germanium, uh, cadmium, niobium, arsenic, yttrium, yttrium and uh, polonium. And I don't actually know how to get those yet, but I will rather have my Type 6 transporter to go out and search for all those things and also pick up other valuable material along the way if we can. So we're in populated space in it right now. Just to give you an idea, galaxy map. We're in the middle here. And you can see I've got some ships left behind. Kakandi is my old home base. I think I'm sort of making Kubeo my new home base. But uh, So there's populated space here. And there's a, there's a mission to do something out there. Possibly what I'm going to be doing in this episode is making my way out there and taking a look around. Okay, retrieving ship. Yes. Okay. Ooh, too far. Okay. Landing gear retracted. After flying the Imperial Courier, I need to get used to this thing's um, inertia. Scan detected. Okay. Now oh, this one. Repairing the station. I mean, they've already collected quite a lot, and there's been a lot of contributors, but the reward structure is very nice. Even if I'm, like, at the bottom, I'll get 500,000 credits for it. Power generators I can buy here. Tantalum... I can't actually buy here, so it's gotta be power generators. Okay. I'll buy 16 of them. Uh, maybe I should just fill up the bay. I don't know what I'm going to find along the way though. I might want to leave some room to pick stuff up. Let's go with 24. Okay, that leaves us a little bit of cargo space to work with. Alright, let's plot for our destination which is a long ways away. Landing coupler disengaged. You are clear for departure. 
Okay, so it is my intention to be leaving for an extended period of time. Hopefully we're all ready to explore. We will not be landing at another station for a while. Lock off and jump. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. I wonder when we're gonna get some aliens in here. That would be nice. Even hostile ones. Maybe that would stop people from interdicting me if they had something else to attack. Sheesh. Fuel scooping. Only two new objects here. Somebody else looking for a big haul. Ah, uh, interdicting me actually. Great. I'd be so glad once I get out of populated territory and don't have to deal with interdictions. Especially ones close to the stars. This one doesn't seem to be moving in either direction very well. Uh, don't, don't go towards the star. Please. I can't even see where the marker is anymore. Yeah, of course I'm taking heat damage. Hate these people. Is he actually behind me, or...? Yeah, he is. Oh, great. Okay, okay. I'm currently in the cooldown for my frameshift drive, so... Wish this thing would decelerate a little bit faster when I wanted to. Frameshift drive charging. Okay, this is gonna get a bit hot. It's taking longer than I'd like to. Four, three, two, one, engage. I don't have that tasty cargo that they keep saying I have. That's really annoying. Oh, another interdiction. Oh, forget it. I mean, how can I... How can I avoid being interdicted here, for heaven's sakes? We're pretty far out from populated territory, you know. Really? This guy's pretty darn serious. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, the interdictions. Uh, I mean, I'm in trouble. I, I don't care if the destination's obscured, damn you. This is not the time to be picky. Escape mechanic is definitely not fun. Well, with all that damage, I'll have to head back to populated space, so I can't 
go out like this. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Let us heal. Landing complete. Disengage engines. Repair all. And I'll try and get to this destination ASAP instead of lingering around exploring stuff. Let's get beyond the 1000 light year thing and hopefully we won't get constantly interdicted. And let's aim for a good star if possible. That's a B-type right there. Okay, let's do that. So, just a quick sprint. I like what they did with the voices though. That was that's been nice. The audio is really good. This game has excellent audio. Especially with the new station voices. Fuel All right, well, we'll ping this system. Fifty-four new objects. Hmm. Okay, it's piqued my attention. Fuel scoop disengaged. Uh ooh. Well, that looks like an interesting world right there. The rest look dreadful. That one maybe. I guess I'll I'll select that and we'll take a peek at it. We can't land on it though. That's uh, one of those that I would like to be able to land on, but we can't. Apparently the pink ice moons, this is an Earth-like world. Apparently the pink ice moons might have arsenic on them though, which I need. We'll just take a closer look. Of course, this has already been discovered. Eh, it's sort of a lathe-like thing. Very watery. Or we might just be looking at the Pacific side of it, you know. And maybe on the other side there's more land, but so far pretty sparse on land. Isolated islands and such not huge continents and the other side's dark so we're not gonna get a good look at it okay next place that's that's green oh you can zoom in like that hmm that seems interesting let's let's aim for that one why is it green ish okay let's see what sort of planet is this High metal content world with a metallic core. Uh, metallic cores near the surface in places, especially around areas of past volcanism. Iron, nickel, sulfur, chromium. I, I, I'll be satisfied if, if I can find anything. If I could just, uh, if I get iron, I, I'd like some iron. That's fine. 0.43 G's. Well, let's see. Let's try and land on it and take a look. Past volcanism. So we're looking for a, we're, we're looking for a volcano, a caldera of some kind. It doesn't look so green from here. It looked different on the map. That's cheating.
Yeah, yeah, we're landing on a planet. That's what we're doing. Um, I don't know, they're all craters. I don't see uh, an actual volcano-like thing. This scarred area might be interesting. Oh, this... There, there's some... I mean, this seems very rugged. And all. But volcanoes? I don't know. No, don't drop from orbital cruise, really. This is too rough. Oh well. Let's take a peek while we're gliding. Uh, well, there's, there's a lot of pock marks there. I don't know. That doesn't look like it was made by a volcano. Guess we'll try and aim to land over here somewhere. See, I mean, it's so hard to figure out where I should go to get resources. Maybe. Oh, too fast, too fast. Ow, 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 ow. That was stupid. I've landed so many times and I did that. Jeez, that's just really stupid. I did more damage to myself than that interdiction did. My modules are fine, though. It's just the hull. It's hull integrity that we lost. That area looks a bit flatter. Actually, eh, I don't know. Okay, uh, it's right there. Picky, picky. Finally. And try to find thing with Jigs. Well, not much in this direction. That's that's a hill right there. That's my ship. Yes, that that I know. The flying saucer. Who knows? I think I have double back. I think I'm I'm reading my my own ship. There's a green thing there, but the green thing is moving. Oops. Still a very definite signal sort of in this direction. You can see it. I can hear it even. Seems like the signature of something mineable. And two of them. And they're getting further apart, which means we're close to one of them. Yeah, our uh, our turret should be able to do the mining, and we've got a scoop. Wait, wait. <gasps> it's a thing! It's a thing! Hold on. It's bronze chondrite? Something. Ooh! Hold on. Hold on. Uh. How do I actually. Oh, yes. Cargo scoop deployed. 
Um, I mean, turret view is a little bit better for this. Uh, how do I scoop him? Eek. Eek. Hold on, no, no. <sighs> Even now, it's not easy. Come on. Nickel. Nickel. Nickel acquired. Iron. Iron has been acquired. Uh, boop, boop, boop. first, first success at this sort of thing. Um, oh, I can't move the turret. I need lower than that. Uh, okay, sulfur. Okay, I'll take it. Not none of the materials they actually want, but you know. Okay. Um, all right. I am emboldened to try this other one. Ooh, be careful though. So we definitely have another signature in this area. But boy, it's not easy to... There it is. I mean, you know, trying to figure out which rock is actually uh, a good rock. Okay, uh, it looks like only two pieces from this one. Um, no, 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 no. Alright. Um, cargo scoop is still down. Okay. Okay, cargo acquired. Okay. Well, um, well, in this direction, seems to be some stuff. More iron, more nickel. Well, heck, while we're here, I'll have to jettison some of it if it turns out that I run out of space. Okay, well, at least I've gotten some experience with this, though. I haven't gotten the really juicy stuff. Let's let's call it a good first uh, attempt at this particular thing. And bring our ship over so that I can return and continue on our journey. Of course, my ship is really banged up right now after that uh, initial hard smashing the ground thing, but uh, yeah. I think that sound was our ship coming around. Oh, there it is. Um, where'd you go, ship? Oh, there you are. Iron makes ships strong and healthy. I really should have gotten one of those field maintenance things to repair it on the fly instead of uh, having to deal with the fact that it's banged up. Now, one thing they haven't done is uh, it doesn't look like the external model shows any signs of wear. A car racing game, this is not. Yeah, we're fitting for exploration. Yeah, probably should have. I'll just have to be a little bit more careful from here on. So, if we take a look at my inventory. Now I have lots of iron. <laughs> uh, some carbon, sulfur, nickel. But these are not the things I need. Whoop, the things I need... 
for FSD injection are not available. How about for this other stuff? Well, sulfur and manganese. I need one more phosphorus for plasma munitions. Don't know. I don't have a plasma gun. I don't have anything to use these explosive munitions, so that's why I thought let me make those. I could make a lot of munitions, but I have no modules to use them on. Now, why does it say SRV ammo restock? SRV required. I have an SRV. Or maybe I have to do it on the SRV. Yeah, maybe I have to do it on the SRV or something. Okay, on we go. So, as usual, I've done serious damage to myself at the start of my journey, necessitating extra care. No, no, this one. Oh, it's got stuff. Wait, did this one have stuff too? Oh, this one had stuff. Oh, what? why did you... what? Okay, whatever. We're gonna land on this one. I did not decide to get out of map mode, but it decided for me. It doesn't have anything particularly great as far as minerals, but who knows. I guess this uh, pale dusty area might be interesting. We can land close to a crater. Lots of little pop marks. It's a lighter color than I would imagine for the actual for our moon. Well, it's a bit bumpier than I thought. Careful. Landing gear deployed. Alignment okay, yep. Looks like it's a good place to land. Okay, let's go rock hunting again. Actually, our scarab seems to be... It's at 84%. Oh, I think that's the fuel is to 84%. So, we're not going to have a lot of opportunity to drive this around. Because it's got a limited amount of fuel. Let's take a look at that. What do we need to... Sulfur and Phosphorus. Okay, it looks like we can refuel the SRV using this if we need to. Okay. So we've got some refuels available. Um, I'm not... Oh wait, there's a ping there. Yeah, somewhere over there. Oh, there's a thing. Mesosiderite? Mesosiderite. Okay. Chromium. I think I need chromium. At least I don't have much chromium. Sulfur I've got, but 
that seems to be what this thing runs on, sulfur and phosphorus. Carbon. Guess we don't use carbon fuels. Okay. Seems to still be some signals over here. Uh, yeah, you can circumnavigate the planet in this game. It would take a long time, but yeah. Okay, there's one of them. Bronzite, chondrite, we've seen before. Somewhere around here. Yep, that's it. Again, bronze chondrite. I don't want bronze chondrite. I've got enough of that stuff. So much iron. Other signals are very weak. The that signal is my ship. Okay, let me go back to my ship. Without smashing into the boulder. Ouch. I could have called the ship to me, of course. Didn't have to drive all the way back, but... This is fun, too. This little beep that tells you you're in alignment. Okay, I think I'll leave the ship here for today. Yeah, that is a good place to park it. And then I'll continue on my journey uh, at a later time.